So welcome back viewers, here's the Rangatang and I uh, got me uh, Ronda Rousey with me and we're off to um, get some ick or part of this um, no squish fish oil is we need ick or so in this video we're going to show you a way to make um, make oil without squishing fish and seeds and make a lot more oil a lot more quickly so we'll just run up the river here and once we get up to where the lizards are, I'll join back in. So here we are viewers, we're back again, um, you wouldn't believe it, the server only shuts down for maintenance twice a day and it shut down just when I got to here, so we've come up that way, we get to the big black hand here and we go left. We'll have to pick up Rhonda on the way because I'd got up here a little bit further when um, it shut down but it turned out good because I wasn't recording anyway. <laughs> so I probably would have went for another half an hour and not recorded any of it and been spewing. But, um, so yeah, we're back on our way now. Is that a, one of them lizards? Yep, here it is. These are the lizards we want. And we can use either a pickaxe or a pick. Although that was a bit shitful, but I did get Icar off him five seconds ago. Get the shield out. Don't know why, but you know. There's no danger, as you can see. Got 865 health. Bit of Mitra's Blessing going on there. Gives you... 60 health or something, I think. 50, 60. Here's Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. How are you, darling? Follow me. Uh, can we chop this one up? We can. Two lots of ick This is That's what we're going for. As I was saying before, I could be checking this um, aloe vera for bees. Apparently, if you search through aloe vera with your bare hands, you might find a queen bee. So I've had that queen bee in a beehive up there for about a week. You think I can find a queen bee? I used to find them and had that many, I'd throw them away, but I'm doing one of the, well, you can see it's the brewer. Um, call them journey steps. I never used to do journey steps, but I found they're pretty cool. Get that crocodile for me, will you, Rhonda? Good job. Okay, so we're going great so far. So it's just a matter of running along the river. Another one out there. Good shot these these lizards, they don't miss very often. They're like snipers. So we're getting pretty close to the end now where we turn up to we're underneath the black galleons up here somewhere. Down through this gap. Oh, there's one more, is it? Yep, there's another one. Get out of the way, Rhonda. Stuck on Rhonda and can't move. Okay. There's the bridge over to the Black Galleon. It's not a real good view from the water, but up there above us now. Oh no, there it is there actually, sorry. Plenty of thralls up there to tame. Not as many good ones as there used to be, I don't reckon, but yeah. You know, still a few there if you need them. You might find some good, um, good crafters and stuff, a couple of fighters. Wouldn't normally 
carve these guys up, but there's a one skull in there. We might get something decent off him. I don't know how we've got a shield on and a shield on our back. That's pretty tricky. Normally you get all right loot off these guys nowadays, but you know, that's not what we're here for. These big guys are good for Ico too. Well, they wouldn't think so going on that. It's a bit ordinary. Quite a few of these guys, these praying manners things or whatever they are up to the right here. Not happy with the amount of ichor. But hey, what do you do? See if we get double. Get him, Rhonda. Two more over here. Now there's a there's a three skull here. Normally I wouldn't fight him. We might end up fucking this up, but might as well have a crack. There's no real advantage to fight three skulls anymore. Although you get a skeleton key, but I used to like it when they had um, legendary weapons in the chest next to them. Just gotta watch it doesn't poison you. I've lost some good fighters to things like this, like Rhonda's a witch queen, so she's not going to die from it, but um, yeah, I've lost some Sumerian berserkers and stuff, fighting this and the big queen in the silver mine, there's, he's down, we've got a little bit of stuff there, but nothing that impressive, but if we chop him up, we just got to check, see how my health's really low, if I was poisoned there, I wouldn't notice it going down. And I'll end up dead. Alright, so I've got some stuff there. So we're going alright. How much you call we got so far? 500, 500. We've got a th 1162 from that part. There's another trick here, I don't know if you know. Um, if you hit axe, not uh, axe. If you hit eggs with a pick, you get more eggs. But only sometimes. Look at that, 72, 72, 68. Some will work, some won't. But this is a great place for, well, ichor and eggs. Now I'm going to run back down past this way. Normally I wouldn't bore you with this, but we've got a taming wheel here, and the one thing I've always never managed to bring over, I don't think we've got Oh, I may have brought one over. 
No, I have. Who we got on there? Is he top quality? Yep, Marnie. No, it hasn't. Ha <laughs> ha! Bang, bang. Thank you. Couple of dancers there. So now we're just heading back to where we came. I'll sort of run it to give you an idea about it. I don't want to just turn up over there because now you'll think, oh, where'd he go? We're more or less running parallel with the river, but we're up towards the cliffs a bit more. So we came up in a loop round to those praying mantis things, and then now we're heading back to Reapers. And this is going to take us down across the plains where if you ever need hide, elephant hide, sick hide, feline pelt, that sort of stuff, it's a great spot down here. Come on, girlfriend. Rhonda's not as fit as me. She doesn't do as much cardio. It's funny once you've played this game for long enough and you get, you know, I remember when I first played this, those things used to terrorise me. Now you just run straight past them and you think, oh, get out of here. So we should come down to the big savannah down here soon. So where we're heading back to, see up there in the distance in the haze? That's um where we came from originally. It's a big wall that goes right along there, you can just see it. So anyway, there's all elephants and stuff. That's the new castle. El Morea or something, where you attack, that's the PvE attack. The guys that come and raid you. We'll go and have a look there another time. But as you can see, there's all sorts of wildlife through here if you need hide. That over there, is that him or is it that one back there? It's that big grey one. He's a kick-ass three-skull um, elephant. I think we could be in a fight here. So we run through it. Plenty of rhino hide here. Little baby rhinos if you want some. over here there's a little passageway we want to go down and it's going to take us back to where we started. Where this village is. Looks more or less pretty straightforward, so. There's the village. See this down here? Oh, shit! So there's more spitty lizards here.
So just down there, you can't quite see it, but that's where the down on that corner is where the fangs were sticking out, where we originally started. It was down here. At where is it? It's in here somewhere. Might be it there, but it's just across from there. It's um, Weaver's Hollow. This is the back entrance to Weaver's Hollow. So on our run around so far, we've got 500, 1,000, 1,562. And now we're going to run through the Spider's Cave. And it's going to bring us out to exactly where we started. So without further ado, let's get down into the Spider Cave. And we've got 1,562. Let's see if we can get some more. It'd be easier if Rhonda killed him for me. Come on, Rhonda. Catch up, girlfriend. Whee ya! Yeah, don't worry, Rhonda, I've got him. Have a swing, love. Tell you what, don't rely on your fighters to save you. <laughs> oh, hang on. Now she's caught me talking about it. She's having a go. Now, the other thing, if you need crystal, there's tons of it down here. Crystal makes the world go round. You use it for anything. Remember, once I was down here with two of my friends, and one said the other one. What's crystal for? And he said, Who gives a fuck? Just keep fucking whacking it. Also here, look. This is, um, if you use a sickle. Gossamer, which makes silk. Which makes light armour. Especially the good stuff. Layered silk makes the good perfected light armour. Also make bow strings. So this, yeah, this is a great cave. Plenty of stuff down here. Come down off there. Making plenty of ooh and an aaron, eh? Sounds like he's earning his money. Shit, deal with that. But, yeah, you can do all this at a fairly low level, too. Like, you know, you might be saying, oh, yeah, you're level 87,000. But, why is my players? Um, but you can do this at a fairly low level, as long as you bring patience and if you've got a fight, it helps. Okay, I don't believe in doing that fly around in ghost mode stuff, at least my stuff's live action. So if we go down here, I think there's a big spider. This is also, I think, over there on the left somewhere. Somewhere down here you learn the Zath religion. Let's get in here and give it to this spider. Oh, look at that. Big start up swing and haven't haven't hit it yet. Swinging funny.
bad eyes. Got the skeleton key. So we climb up up the other side here. Somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Looks like up there will do. Oh, of course there's another spider there going to knock me off the wall. Fuck, I can't climb up there. I might be stuck in here. Can I climb this either? How do you get back out? Oh, well, maybe once you're down here you can't. Doorway? Nah. Oh well, we've killed a big spider and we're stuck in here, so I'll go back around and we'll come in through the front entrance. There we are, back where we started. So, as you can see, we've done a full loop. Unfortunately, I fucked up the cave, but that's alright. So, normally, what you'd probably do is start from here and then go the opposite way, or you can just come back out. Come down to here, do the cave last, you can do whatever you want, to be quite honest. But, um, you can get through the cave from this way. If you drop down to where the big spider is, you can continue and come out the other side up there. Anyway, let's get in there. Don't be afraid to hit something, Rhonda. I mean, when you're ready, love. Yep. Get into this lot. Ah, oh, piss off. Get your pig out here. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Pick. Pick. I know he's trying out. Ronda's actually killed one. Good job, Ronda. As you can see, there's plenty of um, cobwebs, which is gossamer down here. And then this is where you jump off. That's where the big spider is, down there. So you can't climb back up, so obviously it's a trap. When you fall down, you can't get back out. Although you can sneak around the spider. And the picture I took of the guy who does the zap things just straight over there. So norm you you wanted to do it as a, a round trip. You could start here and run through and then you could run back and go up to the black hand, or you could just do it backwards. We'll get out the front here and we'll see how much um ichor we got. And I think we'll find it'll be, which is pretty good. Oh no, don't you? Here we are folks, back where we started. So we went down around here to the Galleon, Anises. I don't like the way that's doing that. Back straight through here, into the back of the cave and back to here. So it's a loop that goes like that. Alright, I'll check out how much Icorac and show you how to make the thing. Don't know why that's doing that, but I don't like the look of it. 
So let's do a, we're back up top now, just up above where we were down there, straight under, there it is, you can see the fangs. Let's do an e-call count, shall we? So on our e-call run, now this stuff's not that easy to get, so a thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand, twenty-five hundred, three thousand, thirty-five hundred, is that, there's two thousand two hundred, three thousand two hundred. 3,714. That's an incredible amount of pickle, and that'll keep us going for ages. So I'll be back, and um, we'll get an alchemist, and then we'll do a bench, and I'll show you how to make easy oil with no fish squishing. Try saying that fast. Here we are, viewers. We're hanging out at the uh, summoning place, which is uh, there. It's a big red thing right in the middle of whatever that 5 is, G5, I think. So just on the side of G5, the big red thing. But we're going to go into the summoning place, and hopefully we're going to find a Defari Witch Doctor. And what we might do is put our knockometer... I'm sure we've got one in here somewhere. Look at all the stuff I'm carrying. Jesus. I'm sure I've got a knockout club in here somewhere. Is that it there? Yeah. And we've got a rope. Okay, so we're looking for a Defari Witch Doctor up the back in the middle. So let's get in here and... Um, Fight our way through to the center. Upon you. I will break Come on, no, bruising me. That's my sleep. Come on, yeah. He gave me a bit of trouble. So I think it's got to do with this new fight and thing where you. Don't really face up against the state as you used to. So we'll fight our way up to the back and see who is now. It's either going to be a Defari Witch Doctor or a Yog Priest. So we'll see when we get there. Alright, let's see what we've got. Get our love tapper out just in case it's a. And it's a Yog Priest, which we don't really want. Okay. No luck this time. So I'll head back out. We'll give it a while and we'll come back. Here's a little sort of tamed wheel that I prepared earlier. Bit of an eyesore. One thing I'm not good at in this game is building. So we've got on the wheel here. We've got a sorcerer and a dancer. Okay, so we'll go and hang out on the on the balcony. We'll give all that stuff over there time to reset and then we'll come back and have another crack. Okay, viewers, so here comes our second attempt. Let's see if we can get one this time. Oh, well, they're working me, they're working me. <laughs> Bastards. I should try to um, kill the other guys first. I'll be back once we um, spawn back in. 
once they get you in the corner, you, you had it. You're done for. But um, we might try a different tactic. I'll try to lead out some of those um, fighters and then go for the witch doctor. There we go, there's one down. That's the witch doctor. I see a bit of him. Don't get me again. <laughs> oh, see that tricky bug. <laughs> Come on, let me get one on one. first mentioned it I didn't Your notice. Heart will be eaten. Get down. Who's shooting at me up here? Right. It's a lot harder than it should have been. Defari witch doctor, come on brother. <laughs> Drag him home. So on our second attempt, after much ado, we, um, so that shows you go to the summoning place, you're a good chance. Now this Tafari Witch Doctor, as I think I may have mentioned, or maybe I didn't, he's a uh, tier 4 alchemist, which is good. Now I'll have to put on, we'll have to get a bit of, um, I think I had some stuff to cook upstairs with. Let's have a look. about prepared. Some I prepared earlier. We'll grab some oh, get on there. That's plenty. It's a bit glitchy. Okay. Let's get him started. I'll be back when he's finished and we'll take him home and then I'll show you the next step. So here we are, back where we were. I've got a cool base up inside here. You should check it out. It's inside one of these big pillars just up above that spider cave. I'll put me a pick away. A really cool view from up here. Anyway, we're not here to chalk the bugs, but in here. Down to our... Now, you don't necessarily need a flash alchemy baits. I'm pretty sure the normal or the... I know the, the improved one will do this. So we check it out. See, we've got our Defari Witch Doctor on there. We've got our ichor and our bark. If you don't know where to get bark, you should go back to playing Minecraft or something. Like, just hit a tree with a pick or an axe. A pickaxe will get you a little bit of everything. But if you look over here, see what will happen if I take him off. I can't remember how. See there now? 
You can make all this other stuff, but you can't make what you want to make. So we get the Defari Witch Doctor. Any tier 4 alchemist will do. And then we make this. Let's make... I don't think we want to make 2,000 and something, but we'll... I've got a fair bit. Now, why are we going to all this trouble? Well, that's a very good question, because when you make oil, uh, it does a couple of things. It makes hardened leather, which is really important for perfected heavy stuff. So if we go here, over here somewhere, see there? Thick leather, thin leather, oil will make hardened leather. So yeah, and, and then hardened leather, we go down to our thing out here. You want to be making a lot of paddings normally. And see all these take heavy perfected paddings, all the good armors, the dragon bone and all that, and heavy perfected, um, perfected heavy, hardened leather. And then, say you want to make some of the armors, like they'll take hardened leather, and then they'll want hardened leather again. That one doesn't, but um, maybe it's the dragon bone. Yeah, so that one's perfected and hardened leather again, so. But anyway, so hardened leather, you can make as much oil as you want. You know, it's better than trying to get a thousand fish or squishing them in the press or a thousand bugs and squishing them as you'll see look at that we've got nearly a thousand oil already it pumps it out so ichor bark alchemist oil all right so on that note i'm gonna head off i hope you enjoyed this i hope it helped you maybe you knew it already maybe you didn't but um like i said all the time Thanks to everybody who watches. Thanks to all my subscribers. See you next time. Stay safe till then. Stay safe. Is that like stay safe?